Is it true that businesses are only as healthy as the people who run them? Uh, we're used to counting rows of stock on the shelves or counting customers that come in through the door or log on uh, or appearing at the bottom line of a balance sheet. But there is another factor that we may well be ignoring and to, that's to our detriment as managers and of course to the detriment of our businesses. It's something that's been screaming at us for quite a while now and we've been ignoring it. How are our staff coping personally? Psychologists Emmy Golding and Peter Diaz have been looking at uh, the field of workplace mental health for some time. And they've written a book which is a guide to managers about how to deal with this elephant in the room, or the office, or the factory, or the studio, or any workplace anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. So how important is mental health to the health of the business? Well, I think mental health is a tsunami that's coming. It's on its way. If it's not hitting workplaces already, it will be shortly. We're seeing the impacts that it's having around the world uh, in workplaces. The impact is going to be huge for workplaces. And uh, the, the, the situation right now is that most workplaces are not ready 